Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, now for a brief meditation of God's word and uh, uh, predictably my uh, the verse that I want to share comes from a passage that I'm reading with the many of you, uh, Revelation and Daniel. We have a uh, Bible study group, WhatsApp group, N Days Daily Blend, where we read one chapter from Revelation or Daniel, and then we post in that group what we learn. And God has been speaking to me from that book. And I want to read the last verse of the book of Daniel. Uh, and uh, that's going to be the promise verse. Uh, and God is going to encourage us from that verse. Uh, it's uh, a verse which maybe many of you are not familiar with. Daniel 12, 3, 12, 13. We are familiar with the last verse of Jonah. Nineveh has 1,20,000 people who don't know left hand from right hand. Should I not be concerned about them? And then in the quiz we learned, uh, Jonah quiz, we learned that India has, uh, India, if Nineveh were, of the Bible time was placed in India, we will have 12,000 Ninevehs in India. How much God is concerned about us. But today our focus is not the last verse of Jonah. We are le reading from Daniel, the last verse, Daniel 12, 13. But go your way till the end. Go your way till the end. You know, that's something which uh, we perhaps want to tell uh, Manu Bek Baker, uh, Baker, okay, uh, Manu Baker, two bronze medals already in this Paris 2024 Olympics. She's got one more uh, uh, event starting on August 1st and then final on August 3rd, uh, the 25 meter pistol, hopefully another medal there. So we say, go your way till the end, Manu. And God says, go, but but go your way till the end. But meaning others may not go, go the way. Uh, but you go your way, not it's it, it, the God is very clear. Go your way till the end, and you shall rest and stand in your allotted place at the end of days. So uh, you know, basically, God is saying, keep going. Keep going. Don't get tired. You know, you've started well. You're doing several things right. And with the help of the Holy Spirit, keep going till the end. Don't slack down. Don't, don't, uh, don't backslide. Don't slow down. But go your way till the end. You know, you've started a great life in the corporate world. You have, you have started well as a student of a college. You started well you know, in your family, there are several, there are things that you started. Go your way till the end, God says. But you started that early morning prayer, early morning study of God's word. Go your way till the end and you shall stand in your allotted place. There is a allotted place I have for you. You shall stand there at the end of days. Okay, that's what God says. Now, uh, what is the context of the book, uh, of this passage? Uh, I want to use the scholarship of Tremper Longman 3. Uh, Tremper Longman 3 is to the Old Testament books what Surya Kumar Yadav is to T20 batting. Uh, he's an expert. He spent several hours studying the Old Testament. Tremper, Long uh, Tremper Longman 3, uh, the third. Uh, so what he says is here, Daniel is seeing his final vision along the Tigris River. And you need to see Daniel 10.4 to understand this. Uh, and uh, when you see Daniel 12, 5, earlier uh, part of this, uh, you know, this verse, the earlier part of the same chapter, uh, Daniel, there are few characters in this final vision. Daniel, two unnamed heavenly figures, okay, and they are on two sides of the Tigris River, and then there is a man in linen above them, okay, and they are and, and this is the setting. Two heavenly figures, river in between, a man in linen at the top, and Daniel watching the whole thing. So that's what happens from Daniel 12, 5. All right. And Daniel uh, overhears a conversation. And the question is, and that's a question that all of us have. Daniel 12, 5. How long, how long it shall be till the end of these wonders? How long? 12 Daniel 12 6 how long will 
you know, for example, verse 3, verse 2 says, Daniel 12, 2 says, And many of those who sleep in the dust shall awake, some to everlasting life, some to shame and, and everlasting contempt. Okay, it's talking about the day of judgment. How long till the day of judgment? How long till the climax of history and, uh, and the day of judgment unfolds? How long should I keep on suffering? Because Daniel writes in the context of Babylon in exile, 70 years in exile. How long will this problem last? This problem I am in, how long will it, does this problem last? Till God's judge justice comes. Till God's rescue comes at the end of time. You know, that's the question. How long? How long? And uh, that's the conversation that Daniel overhears. And then Daniel joins that conversation and, and, and he asks the same question. How long? Okay. Uh, that's in verse 6. And Daniel also uh, asks the same question. Uh, uh, verse 8, Daniel 12, 8. Oh, my Lord, what shall be the outcome of these things? You know, Lord, you're showing me so many things. What shall be the outcome? What will be the what will be the final result? So right now there are you have several questions and you have several things that are in your mind, and you are hoping that God's will, God's ways will become clear. That's what you want. That's what that that's the that is what is going on inside you. And to you, God says, go your way till the end which means you you need to take things one day at a time you know you we wish that god will show everything the blueprint of everything the 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 xerox of the what's going to happen the next 10 days of our life next 100 days of our life next 1000 days of our life next 10000 you know however long we, we'll have a xerox of what's going to happen hour by hour minute by minute second by second but that's not what god is saying god is saying you started well you know me, you turn from your sin, you trusted me as your savior, uh, 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 as your savior, uh, and you, I, you need to keep walking, go till the way, till the end, and then you will get the allotted place. So that's the promise, all right? Uh, but this promise, okay, was given to a man who fulfilled several conditions, and his name is Daniel. We know his name, all right? And uh, what were some of his characters? Okay, Daniel, first of all, was a man of great patience. Because here in this passage, we don't have time to split up all these uh, verses. Uh, it would take a separate Bible study for that. You know, there are several numbers in Daniel. Uh, Daniel 8, 14, 2,300 evenings before such and such a things will happen. That's about 1,150 days. And then in verse 7 of chapter 12, uh, three and a half years. Okay. And then verse 11, 1,290 days. And then verse 12, 1,335 days. So four mentions of dates and all are almost similar, but then not exactly similar. So that reminds me of the larger message of the Bible. We approximately know that Jesus, Jesus, we are, we know that we are in the last days, Jesus is coming, but we still will not know the exact day when Jesus will come. So he, uh, it's, it can, he can come at the end of 2,300 evenings or uh, three and a half years uh, or 1,290 days or 1,335 days. Again, these are all symbolic numbers, meaning nobody can, you don't know the exact time or hour he comes that's that that's what he explicitly said so with this what he said explicitly we come back and interpret these numbers so uh, it's deliberately left vague no two numbers are the same which means we don't know when these things will happen but you need to keep going with patience so that's the first thing are you a patient person god has given you a promise do you have patience to continue doing the little things that you have done with the help of the holy spirit so that when you keep doing these those little things, those little disciplines, the running away from temptation, all those little things, you know, so that at the end of that journey, you know, the the, the promise that God made made to you will uh, will be fulfilled. And then Daniel was a man of whole purity. Uh, we know that he deliberately resisted the 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 sinful diet that the king gave. Daniel one eight, 
not only patience, but purity, but a man of prayer. Daniel 6.10, three times a day, he looked toward the broken down temple of Jerusalem. He's not in Jerusalem. He's far away from Jerusalem. He's in exile. But as the Jews did, he looked towards the temple as, you know, as Solomon prayed, you know, he looked in the direction of the temple, though it's far away. And then he prayed three times. It means he looked in the direction of God, you know, even though he was not, He's, he, he was not in a situation where God's presence was so palpable. He was in an exile. He's a prisoner. He's a prisoner of war. The situation is not rosy. It's, he's not on a bed of roses. But still, he's, he remembers that God's presence is there. And he looks in the direction of God. You know, and then he prays the discipline of prayer. And not only that, he also ponders on God's word. Daniel 9.2, he understood from the writings of Jeremiah that the length of the exile will be 70 years. So pondering. So uh, pondering on God's word. Prayerful. And then when he prayed, Daniel chapter 9, if you read, he includes himself with the sins of people. You know, that's one of the most fabulous passages in the intersection. Daniel 9. We have sinned. You know, Daniel includes himself, not not he, Daniel was living a victorious Christian life, uh, if you can say, if you can consider him as a New Testament believer. But he, he includes himself with the sins of his people. He confesses the sins of his nation as his own sins. So here was a man who prayed for his nation. So these are the conditions. So when you fulfill those conditions of uh, of patience, purity, prayer, and pondering, God says, "But go your way till the end, and you shall rest and." You shall stand in your allotted place at the end of days. So when you keep going, either on this side of eternity or on the other side of eternity, God will reward you. You will stand in your allotted place. And today, the, that allotted place you think has gone to someone else, your bitter rival in your company, your bitter rival in your family, your bitter rival in your, you know, in that place that you are in, you think that your allotted place has gone to somebody else. God says, no, your allotted place has not gone to somebody else, that it, it is still there for you. But only thing is that you will come to that place in my calendar. And my calendar is at the end of days, you will, you will be there at the allotted place. For that to happen, you shall go your way till the end. You shall persevere. I want you to close your eyes. Lord, we thank you for this encouragement from the last verse of Daniel. Daniel, help us to return to this verse for encouragement. Oh Lord, whether we have to, Lord, be patient for 1,335 days, 1,290 days, three and a half years, 2,300 evenings, Lord, these four numbers and Daniel, we don't know. Lord, all these are symbolic numbers we could we can understand. Uh, Lord, we don't know how long we need to wait for this miracle to happen, for this breakthrough to come. Lord, uh, for for justice to be Lord given to our Lord given to us and punishment to be given for our enemies. We don't know. Uh, we don't know when you're going to return and Lord save us from the literal hell that we. we uh, that we are in sometimes this hell thinks of makes us think of committing even suicide lord lending our lives wishing that we didn't exist in this world wishing that we run away from this situation because this is so lord uncomfortable oh lord the situation we are in but help us to be patient oh lord help us to be prayerful oh lord help us to be lord help us to continue interceding for our nation this great nation of india help us to un lord continue to intercede for the people group you have called us to share the gospel with the google generation lord or the uh, lord whichever group that you called us to oh lord lord that that we continue to pray for them read about them research about them and pray for this people group oh lord working be it working professionals or be it college students or lord be it the entire nation or be it a church congregation whichever group Group, your call us to minister to help us to do it passionately help us to pray for them help us to identify their sins that people group sins uh, lord all, and 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 confess their sins as our sins oh lord and and as daniel prayed oh master and help us to dig deep into scripture and bring out facts 
that will guide us into our Lord, into our forward march, oh Lord, as Dan, as, as Daniel did. He knew this exile is not going to last for seven days or Lord, or, or seven weeks. It's going to last for 70 years. So that required patience in Babylon. As he stayed in Babylon, he had to be a patient man. And the word of God gave him inspiration for patience, oh Lord. We thank you. Help us to dig deep into your word, oh Master. We thank you, Lord. Lord, we pray that Lord, you will do miracles, especially for Amar, who is in the hospital right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will come into a situation and do a miracle. Lord, Ivan will be, Lord, united with his family. There are unspoken requests here. People who have not been able to speak, who didn't get the chance to speak. But Lord, I pray that you'll intervene in this situation. Lord, if it is your will, even in this month of April, in August, or Lord, August 2024, and do a miracle, oh Lord, so that at the end of... This month, August 31st, we will have a testimony. Lord, Lord, in this very same meeting, we will testify that God has done this for me. And I want to give him the glory, O oh Lord. We thank you. You're able to do that, O oh Master. Hallelujah. We want to thank you. Bless everyone who has joined this meeting. Lord Ivan, Chandrani, John, Pratyusha, Jayap, Lord Hannah, oh Lord Shirley, Lawrence, Anu, Lord Namrata, Jevastin, Lord Navi, Naveen, Chelsea, Lord Vikas, pa uh, Praveen, AJ, Lord, uh, this uh, unknown friend, Lord Ashish and Michelle, Lord Sue, Kevin and Rupa. We thank you for everyone, oh Lord. And we thank you for even the testimonies, uh, Lord, uh, even for the chat messages. We thank you, Lord, even for the interview that, uh, that one of us is going to face. Uh, Lord John, I pray that you... Uh, that he will face, he will have success because you are going before him and making all the crooked paths straight. We thank you. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. We ask this with thanksgiving in Jesus' matchless name. Amen. All right. Thank you for joining. Such a joy to meet all of you. Ivan also joins uh, me in saying good night to each one, each one of you. And um, God bless. Such a joy. Bye bye. Thank you. Amen, Pastor. Thank you. Amen. Bye-bye. So Thank grateful, Pastor. Whether